Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy, and this is drone registration and what you need to know about it. As of December 21st, 2015, the FAA is requiring all people who intend to pilot a model aircraft or drone, as they commonly call them, over nine ounces be registered. That is a pilot registration, not a vehicle registration. So it doesn't matter how many vehicles you have, it's one registration and one registration number. And the key is a weight of nine ounces. This vehicle would not need, need to be registered, even though it is very drone-like and it carries a camera. Why? Because it's less than nine ounces. However, this vehicle weighs more than nine ounces and therefore this would need to have a registration. What about these two foam park flyer airplanes? Yes, these would indeed need to carry a registration number even though they are airplanes meant for park flying and made of foam. Again, the key is weight. So how much is nine ounces? Well, just to give you an idea, my cell phone right here weighs six ounces. Another way to look at it is two sticks of butter. Well, that's eight ounces. So anything weighing, you know, half again more than a cell phone or two sticks of butter will require to be registered. So there are a few things you need to know about registration before doing so. First of all, the Academy of Model Aeronautics has recommended that you hold off until the absolute deadline of February 19th to register your aircraft. However, if you buy an aircraft after December 21st, then it will be required to be registered immediately. When going through the registration process, the FAA requires you to sign a contract with them saying a few things. First of all, that you will not operate above 400 feet of altitude. You will operate within visual line of sight. You will not fly near airports. You will understand airspace and the requirements of that airspace and a few other items. And then you'll have to check a box saying that if you violate this, you understand that you can be penalized or jailed for not following these rules. Now, about the visual line of sight requirement. It says within visual line of sight. That is a boundary. However, the FAA has stated explicitly that means by way of. And that would mean that FPV or first person video flying with goggles would not be allowed. Now, if you're asking the question, should I register or shouldn't I? Well, it truly is up to you. The registration came from an emergency action due to the Christmas holiday. It's supposed to be a temporary action, even though it, well, doesn't really sound like it, but that's what it's being declared. You see, the belief is, is that the Christmas holiday, one of the most popular items is going to be a drone under the Christmas tree and they will proliferate the skies and cause problems to people on the ground and aircraft in the air. And therefore this registration was kind of an emergency action to sort of enforce safety. Now, if you take the uh, model aviation safety record, which is absolutely incredible. Um, in fact, it's one of the safest uh, hobbies in the world. You might decide that, well, that's not really an emergency considering its safety record. Well, in that case, if you intend to fly FPV or above 400 feet, yeah, you probably don't want to register. But if you feel that they are right in requiring registration, then you should do so. However, there is one thing you should know. Anybody over the age of 13 is required to register and your information, your private information that you enter onto that site will be public. This is not exempt from the Freedom of Information Act. So if you're worried about that, then you might want to question registration as well. Now understand that registration or failure to do so can carry up to a $27,500 civil penalty. And they're also talking about $250,000 and three year imprisonment if a crime is committed with an unregistered aircraft. Now this seems excessively steep and it may not hold up in court, but on the other hand, if they decide to enforce it as strictly as such, 
it could come, it, this could come to a head. So I leave this registration requirement up to you. Me personally, I don't plan on registering because one, I don't like being forced from my private information to go public. I also feel that the way they pushed this through was quite underhanded and not really in accordance with the laws of the United States. And I also intend to fly FPV and therefore signing a contract that I intend to violate, well, that's just wrong on many levels, morally and socially. But again, this is up to you. Uh, I've made my case and if you want to see the ramifications and the open letter I sent to the FAA, you can see the link to that in the description below. Again, I can't reinforce this enough. It's up to you. But either way, we as model aviators, we're a family. Regardless whether you register or whether you choose not to, please don't fight over this. We're a group. Even if you disagree with it, let's not fight over it and let's make our decisions wisely. I'm Alex Grieve and keep them flying.